Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the G-Max snow helmets available at Revzilla.com. So on the table in front of me, I have a variety of different snow helmets from G-Max, and if you're watching this video, chances are you want to know exactly what the differences are between the snow helmets and the regular versions of the lids on the table. So the real two main differences you're going to see is the fact that you have the option of choosing between either a dual pane face shield or an electronic face shield, and all of these helmets will include a breath box as well. Now when you're looking at a premium over the regular version, when you're looking at the dual pane shields, it's going to be anywhere from a $15 to a $30 premium over the regular motorcycle version of these helmets. And if you bump to the electronic shield, the electronic shield is going to run you about a $70 to $100 premium over the regular motorcycle versions. Other than that, these are the exact same helmets as their motor counterparts. And we've got detailed breakdowns on all the helmets you're going to see here. So just keep that in mind. If you want more information on any of the helmets, check out the detailed breakdown video where we take the insides, we rip them out, and we show you everything you can expect from any of these lids. But let's briefly introduce the helmets that are on the table. So on my right hand side, this is the GM11S. This is going to be your adventure helmet and G-Max lineup polycarb DOT shell with this one. And again, you have that removable peak, which is going to be your adventure rider out there. On my left hand side, this is going to be the GM54S. This is going to get you up into a modular helmet from G-Max. And this is going to be that thermoplastic DOT rated helmet as well. And in the middle of the table, this is your premium. This is your GM64S top of the line modular from G-Max thermoplastic DOT. And if you're looking at everything on the table and you're thinking, well, damn, Spurgeon, I don't want a modular helmet while I'm riding in the snow. I just want a full face helmet. I don't want that adventure style. Check out the GM38. There is going to be a snow version of that as well, which is just a regular old full face helmet with the same snow features that we were talking about earlier, that dual pane or electronic shield, and then that breath box. Now, all these helmets are going to weigh in around two to three ounces more than their regular motorcycle counterpart because of the addition of the different face shield as well as that breath box. And really what you're getting, just starting by taking a look at the dual pane shield. So with the dual pane shield on this, this is going to be an extra layer of shield. So you're actually having two different lenses with that entry lens or that secondary lens laid upon it. And you'll notice if I pull it over this side, what there is is there's a little bit of an air channel that works its way in between that lens, so you get better anti-fogging than even something like a pinlock lens would, in, would give you, which is going to be for riding in those extreme cold weather months, whether you're on a snowmobile or whether you're using this on a motorcycle and you're riding full four seasons. The other thing you have as an option is you can bump to the electronic face shield. Now, the electronic face shield will connect to the battery on your sled or your motorcycle via the wires and hardware that are included with it. You're going to have one wire that actually plugs into the face shield itself and another wire that's going to mount to the battery harness and then a small connection between the two. So if you want maximum anti-fogging, the electronic face shield is the way to go. With both of these options, a dual pane as well as the electronic, the one note you want to make for yourself if you are going to use these on a motorcycle, there is going to be some visual distortion associated with both of these lenses, especially at night. So as traffic is coming towards you, it's dark outside, you're going to have headlights, you are going to notice maximum visual distortion with this. So it is something to definitely be aware of if you're going to try and use this as an option for cold weather riding. Now the other thing you'll notice with all these helmets is there is going to be a breath box design with this. So unlike some of the other modular helmets out there that we saw incorporate snow designs to them, you know, the one thing that the G-Max is able to do is you can actually use the modular functionality with that, breath, with that breath box installed. When we were looking at some of the other brands out there, we actually had trouble using the modular helmet without removing the breath box first and it became cumbersome. You had to kind of reach up and try and pull it out. Not the case with the G-Max. You are going to have that chin curtain at the very bottom of this, which is going to help to keep wind from pushing up underneath your helmet. And if we pull that breath box out, what you're going to have is you're going to have snaps that are going to snap into place from the inside. And then you're going to have Velcro tabs which hold it into place. But you're getting dual functionality with this. One, you're making sure that the breath as you're exhaling doesn't help to fall or doesn't you know create fog on the inside of the shield and it's working to block any of the uh, the vents on the front of the helmet so you notice that the vents here help to push air up again aiding with the anti-fogging but then this is going to work to make sure it keeps your exhaust breath down exhaust breath as you're exhaling 
And this is going to be, again, just helping with that maximum anti-fogging that you'd expect with that dual pane shield on this. So whether you're looking for an adventure style or you're looking for a modular or a regular old full face, G-Max will have a slew of different options for you to combat the cold weather months on your motorcycle or your sled. Now there's a lot of riders out there utilizing G-Max helmets on their rides, and if you want to hear more about what those riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting G-Max lids through their paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which helmet is right for you and your style of riding, simply give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the G-Max Snow Helmets. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.